Good evening and welcome to Bent TV's AIDS 2014 preview special. My name's Dean Beck. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. Now, AIDS 2014 is the world's largest medical and scientific conference in the world. It's coming to Melbourne, July 20 to 25, and we'll see some 14 to 18,000 delegates hit this town. Along with them will be up to 2,000 in the press corps and the world's best in science, medicine, political engagement, community engagement will all be here as part of the AIDS 2014 conference. Joining me tonight is Simon Ruth, CEO of the Victorian AIDS Council Gay Men's Health Centre. Simon, welcome. Hi, Dean. Thanks for having me. Simon, the HIV response in Australia has uh, been considered to be amongst the best in the world. Um, HIV and originally being a, an issue for gay men or men who have sex with men. It's still something that in this country remains so, yet the rest of the world's response to HIV is a, a very different landscape. What do you think um, uh, the situation with HIV in this country is at present? Uh, well, in this country, we've managed to contain HIV and AIDS essentially to men who have sex with men. Uh, you still do get about 10% of new infections are amongst women. Uh, new migrants also uh, often, not often, but uh, have HIV as well, and, and that gets detected when they come into the country, either through asylum or through student visas. Uh, but worldwide, um, a lot of countries didn't manage to contain uh, this virus into this population, and, and it leaked out into drug-using populations, sex working populations, and into the general heterosexual community as well. So you actually do see much worse epidemics elsewhere in the world. And even though we tend to think of it in Australia as being a a virus that attacks men who have sex with men and gay men, essentially, across much of the West, rest of the world, that's not the case at all. And, and particularly women in third world countries uh, are amongst some of the hardest hit by HIV and AIDS. Well, right around the globe, HIV is by far the most uh, tragic epidemic. And I spoke to the head of UN AIDS on December 1 World AIDS Day last year, December, De December 1, 2013. Let's take a look. Michelle, Dean Beck from Joy 94.9. Yes. Um, Mr. Sidibe, uh, you're welcome here in Melbourne. Uh, it was very warm today. Uh, you have a uh, busy schedule tomorrow at Government House, but the real uh, trouble starts next July here in Melbourne in, uh, for AIDS 2014. What are you doing to prepare for that? You know, I think uh, already the 1st of December will be a strong signal uh, to the world that. Uh, Coming to Melbourne will not be just uh, a visit uh, to the conference. Melbourne will be a moment to shape the future of the AIDS response. Uh, going into post-2015, Melbourne will be a strong signal that uh, if we want to end AIDS, we need to start uh, ending discrimination, stigma, and we need to really reform the, our policies to be able to go to community, to reach people who are most at risk. And that's why I personally feel that uh, we will all come to Melbourne uh, with the hope that uh, we will have one day uh, zero new infection, zero discrimination and zero death due to HIV AIDS. Michelle Sidibe, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much uh, for uh, your time. That was Michelle Sidibe, the head of UN AIDS and uh, recorded on the 1st of December, uh, World AIDS Day 2013. Now we're going to take a look at uh, some of the experts that will be coming to this conference, amongst them the Nobel Prize winning uh, woman who discovered HIV over 30 years ago. She is Professor Francoise Bure sanusi AIDS 2014 will evaluate recent scientific developments and lessons learned to collectively chart a way forward for the treatment, prevention and care of people living with HIV. The past few years have been a very exciting time for HIV scientists across the globe and changing the way we deal with the epidemic. The conference gives the world's leading scientists, clinicians, implementers, public health experts and community leaders an opportunity to listen to the latest developments in HIV science. Australians are generally very understanding and supportive of HIV positive people. Government and community health promotion activities reach out to HIV positive people, encouraging them to play an active part in maintaining their health and being a part of HIV prevention. 
HIV positive people attending the 2014 International AIDS Conference will find Melbourne to be a very friendly and welcoming city. Advances in the management and prevention of HIV over the last 30 years have really been spectacular. The availability of effective antiretroviral therapy has saved millions of lives and recent advances in prevention, particularly treatment as prevention, is likely to have a very significant impact on the epidemic in years to come. But there are still many scientific and implementation challenges. We still need a safe and effective vaccine, we need a cure, and we need to make sure that there's equitable access to antiretroviral therapy for everyone living with HIV. That was Professor Sharon Lewin. She is co-chair of AIDS 2014 and one of Australia's greatest scientists. When we come back from the break, I'll be speaking with Melbourne's Lord Mayor, Robert Doyle.